And if you're new, hey boo, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because you're going to love it here. Today's video is a different type of video that I usually upload. This video is a very sensitive subject. It's a real sensitive situation with me. I recently just found out that my son has autism. I'm going to like tell you guys the journey, my story, some signs and stuff that we thought, why we got him tested or whatever. You guys don't know, I'm Yanni. I am 24, about to be 25. I had my son when I was 22. My son is two years old and his name is CJ. His real name is Calvin, he's a junior, so that's why we call, we call him CJ. When I was pregnant, my son was playing. Me and his dad planned him. Probably like two years before he was born, we planned him. I always wanted a boy, so I was really, really excited when I found out that I was having a boy. I was sick a lot throughout my pregnancy and stuff, and you know, it was you know a regular pregnancy. If you guys didn't look at my birth vlog when I had him, it is on my channel. It's the first video that I ever uploaded, so go check that out. I did have an emergency C-section with him, and it was like a whole lot of like complications. Like our heart rate was going down, I lost a lot of blood, and all this other stuff. So if you guys are interested in seeing my birth vlog when I had him, then go check it out. And make sure you guys like it as well. So fast forward, DJ, he starts saying mama at six months. Like he was really like a active baby. Like he was standing up on his own. He was very strong, sitting down. Like he was like two or three months sitting on a couch. Like he didn't need anything, you know, the little pillows. Like he was just sitting on the couch by himself, like just sitting, like he wasn't leaning over, falling, nothing. So he was a really like advanced baby to me. I'm like, wow, this baby is crazy. He was saying mama at six months. And I'm like, wow. So in my head, I'm thinking my son was gonna start talking early because he knew who mama was. He that was like his favorite word. Mama, mama, mama. He even started walking like a week before his birthday so he was really like heads on with like the motor skills and like walking and stuff like that but when it came to like just gesture and stuff and talking he was like very very delayed with things like so cj okay when he was nine months my son was doing something i don't remember like what he was doing but he was like i don't even know how to explain it but it was like a weird move and it popped in my head like something is wrong with my baby and i was in denial i didn't tell nobody i didn't i just kind of like brushed it off but i thought of autism he was like he would smile giggle things like that but i don't know like it was just something that it was like a mother's intuition in my head i'm like what is wrong with you know like why is he doing this and whatever so I was kind of like in denial and I just brushed it away. So CJ, he goes to his family daycare, which is his dad daycare, his dad cousin daycare. So his auntie worked with, she worked with autism kids before. So CJ was about 11 months at this time. She, um, she was like, I think, she told my son dad that she think that CJ is autistic. And he came to me like, you know, I think our, well, my auntie and them think that our son is autistic. And me, I'm just like, me and his dad was like in the now, like he gonna start talking cause he wasn't talking. Like he just, he wasn't really doing the norm what other kids was doing. So that was like a big thing for us cause he was doing everything else. But it was just like talking, pointing, when we call his name, he wouldn't answer. He was just like, I don't know. He was just like with the talking, like that was the main thing and the main concern with him. And his dad was in denial, I was in denial, but he got inside. I was like, I remember when I thought in my head, he was like nine months. 
I'm like, maybe I wasn't tripping. Maybe I need not to be in denial and really try to see if something is wrong with my child because I don't want him to grow up and something is really wrong and it'd be too late for him to even receive help or he's going to be so far gone and so far delayed that he's he can receive help but it's going to be take a little bit more and it's going to be a little bit more challenging and hard. So I'm like, let me just talk to his to his pediatrician. So talk to the pediatrician. I told her what was going on. She did his like um like a year milestone or something. And my baby was in nine month age. Hold on. Sorry about that. My son is crazy. He does things and you know his mama wants something. But she was saying that like my son is in a nine month stage. He even had like some six month stage. But he was also like in an 18, 19 month stage. Like his skills and milestones was everywhere. So she was like, okay, we're gonna get him in therapy. So she was like, okay, we're gonna get him in therapy to see if therapy work. And then she was saying like, you know, it's a wait list to get him um, diagnosed to take up to six months. But I just want you to do it so when he turns 20 years old, because they really don't try to diagnose kids when they want. So when he turned two years old, um, it was like his six months. He, okay, so the doctor was like, okay, we're gonna get him in therapy until he can get diagnosed or they can like run tests on him. So we went to go get his ears checked out by the ear, nose, and throat doctor. We also went to the audiologist. Um, autoology, I think, to see if like he was like dead, to see if he had fluids in his ear, to see if like that's the reason for him to be not talking or his delaying his speech. That wasn't it. He got really, really good hearing. Like his hearing is good and stuff. So he was going to this therapy. Honestly, I didn't really too much care for the therapy. I really felt like it was things that I could do at home. It was like once a week and I had to take my time out to go there. And it was just like a a, a lot. Although like I'm really I want I am hands on with my son, but it was like it was a lot going on at that time. And yeah, so he stopped going to therapy. He ended up going to birth to three. Now I'm not gonna say birth to three as a whole. I didn't really care for it. Like they wasn't the best for my son. So now he has two new workers with birth to three and they are sweet. I love them. They communicate really good. So the beginning of birth to three was really rocky. He was barely going. Um, but he's still in birth to three. He's he's learning things. I say birth to three is cool, but it's only once a week. And my son need really he need like hands on. Like while I'm at work, he's in ABA therapy and they teaching him eight hours straight or six hours straight he can't just do 45 minutes and then oh like he don't remember that by the time the next week so me being a mom i'm a full-time mom full-time i work full-time and i'm about to start school and like i've been doing my thing with my son my son knows his abcs he knows his one two threes he knows his colors he knows his shapes he know how to say car, all this other stuff. And all this just happened this year, but we wanna to get to that. So we was on a wait list for him to get diagnosed or to see if he had autism. When he was one year old, he really wasn't doing too much. I think that my son is a real life observer, just like me, I'm a real life observer. I observe things. And even with learning, that's how I learn. I observe. I, before I ask questions, before I do anything, I observe. Before I be like, okay, and do the things. So I think that's how my son learned as well. So when he was one years old, he wasn't saying nothing. He was saying mama, he was saying papa, because his daddy called him papa or poppy. So he called his daddy papa. He said those two words. He also was saying ball as well too. Like he was saying like little words here and there, but it really wasn't like consistent. But like I really, I'm a strong believer in God and I have faith in everything he do. 
So I prayed over my baby, you know, and I constantly prayed over him and I just left it in his hands. And yeah, so roll around, CJ turned two years old. He started picking up on words. He started mimicking. He started mocking. He started saying things. He started just doing things. So I'm like, okay, cool. Now he knows the concept of things that he can comprehend things. I said, okay, let me start teaching him his colors, his ABCs, his shapes, things like that. And also he watched um, like this YouTube channel. It's called Busy Beavers. If you moms wanna, you know, have your kids watch it. And that's what he watched. He don't really watch like nursery songs and things like that. He worked, he watched real life educational you know, videos. And also on his tablet, he has nothing but like just educational video as well. So that's how he learned as well. Once I see that my baby is comprehending, I got excited and you know, started teaching him. So now he's two years old. So when he turned two years old, his his speech, his language just went skyrocket. He still CJ, what is struggles this? in some areas, but my what is son this? is so what shape is this? Smart. That's what matters to me. My son he said rectangle. He know how to count to ten. Where where the triangle at? What shape is this? He know the shapes. He knows where the rectangle is. He know the No, this rectangle. That's triangle. He know the circle. He know diamond. He know hearts. So that's what really like make me like okay. This it relieves me because I know my son is he learning. He expanding. So moms, especially young moms, because I've been seeing a lot of young moms, their kids been having like been diagnosed with autism. Start at home, be on that your kid, try to be like as patient as possible. We talking about somebody that did not have no patience, and I'm still work, working on my patience with my son. No patience, like really try to name things like when you're giving them the cup, here's your cup, here's your juice, here's your milk, here's McDonald's, here's red light, here's stop sign, here's this, here's light. Just try to just name everything. It gets tiring that you keep naming stuff, naming stuff, naming stuff, but as you keep saying it, they be like, oh, car. Like my son, he know where my car is. Mama car? Yes, it's mama car. He knows it's in the seat belt. Like autism kids like routines. They when you keep doing things, keep doing things. That's how they learn. Routine. And that's how I learned routine. If I keep switching up, I'm like, I don't even know how to do this. You, you're going too fast. So, so fast forward. So the doctor, you know, six months after I, you know, got everything straightened out because it did take six months to be on the way to to get a doctor to diagnose him because truthfully, they don't really diagnose kids when they're one years old. And they diagnose them when they're two and up. Really, they kind of wait till they two and a half. But April, I want to say April 14th or April 15th. It's so crazy that, and I'm just now thinking about it. It's so crazy that my son was diagnosed that day because that's the day I found out I was pregnant. April 15th. I don't know if it's April 14th or April 15th, but April 4th, 15th of 2020, I found out I was pregnant with my son. So it's crazy that he got diagnosed that day. Now that I'm thinking about it, but yeah, um, she had asked did I wanted to come in or did I wanted to do like a Zoom? Cause she wanted to see how he was at home. How was the environment at home? What did he do? Cause kids, they really, like when they're in another environment, they really would like, don't act the same as if they comfortable when they home. So she was like, we can do it over Zoom. And then if I feel like I really need to like see him in person, then we can do it over Zoom. Then we can, you can come in person and I want to like see him in person. You know, she following, I got the little ring light. I'm following him around, letting her, her see his day, what he do, turned off the TV, how he react, how he acts for food. She just seemed like how he act at home. And the doctor really made my day. She was like, um, your son is like the best candidate. Like any doctor will want your son as a patient because he's so smooth. Like he's so like go with the flow. Like he don't really act out. He don't really cry. He like, okay, on to the next. She was like, the way you raising him and the way your son trusts you is really, really like amazing because a lot of autism moms, kids don't trust them and they act out those tantrums 
granted my son will throw a temper tantrum but i raised my son to know yes no wrong is wrong right and wrong wrong is wrong right is right and to listen i raised my son like that i don't treat him like a baby i don't treat him like he has autism i don't treat him any different than any other kid i raised him and poured into him to listen to adults to understand my son she was just saying like oh my god the way you raised me him is like fantastic she was like so at the end of the zoom she was like so i am going to diagnose your son with autism she said because of his speech how and she just went into like how okay his speech he don't really listen or you know he don't really answer to his name unless you say come here cj or cj do this like he don't really if i say cj now he do like kind of like he getting into he started to listen in a way but that's me just practicing with him and talking to him and being there for him but at the time he wasn't really like he will but then he, like he's easily distracted so she was just like yeah i do want to um retest him because she was like maybe like aba therapy occupational therapy school will help with his you know delayed speech and the things that he's delaying and whatever she was like i want to retest him within a year to see his progress and yeah because she was saying like as of now she sees the autism signs and things like that but she was saying that it is also hard to say that when he's two years old and this is two-year-old behavior not the speech delay but things that he do yeah she was saying like it was like in the air or whatever so yeah so from a year so he's about to start his ABA therapy in August or September. He's on a wait list for that. In occupational therapy, and he's in birth to three right now. He goes to daycare. Like, he live a really normal life right now. So, he's really, like, active. CJ's schedule is way busier than mine. CJ keep me busy. So, yeah, um, he started preschool. Since his birthday is in December, he started preschool in January of 2024. So he'll be, he'll be in preschool. Potty training, potty training. I blame me because potty training is a different type of patience. And y'all remember when I just said, like, I have patience, I'm working on my patience, but my patience ain't. My patience is still kind of going like this. So potty training is something that I have to work on and get a schedule. And now that I am um, going first shift, I will be able to like really be hands on with my son and things like that. So yes, so that's how we found out he has autism. Fast forward, CJ, like I said, he's very smart. He's very, very smart. Like CJ is so smart and he learned things on his own. He like, let me just say this. Just because your kid is autistic not, or has autism, whatever the word you use, does not mean, like, don't count your child out. Because me, when I thought that out, my heart, it wasn't even really like when I thought it out. It was when people were saying it when he was one year old. I was just like, because I just went through a lot with the pregnancy. I went through a lot with his dad. I went through a lot, like the first year of him getting born. It was just like an overwhelming feeling because when we get pregnant, we don't get pregnant thinking that our, something's gonna be wrong with our kid, you know? Especially like when you had a healthy baby boy and then they get a little bit older and then you start seeing signs and it just, you know, take you for a loop when some moms, they, like with Down syndrome, they tell um, the Down syndrome moms why they in the womb, like, oh, your kid's gonna have this and this and this. Like, us autism moms, we don't get that opportunity. And not saying that I would change it, but change anything, but I was kind of taken back. So when she told me that my son has autism, I really didn't feel no way, because I knew I'm his mother. So, I really didn't feel away. I it was just like wow. 
I really hide my feelings and I don't feel anything until a day or two later. Like my emotions really set and I'm thinking about it. So I kind of broke down and cried and stuff to his dad. Me and his dad talk, me and his dad is really supportive for CJ. He got two loving parents that love him dearly and CJ got a really good support system with the doctors, his therapy, daycare, his family, things like that. He's around kids. His mom is a praying mom, so yeah. So if your kid had autism, listen, just take the time out to really like learn your kid and learn their world and, world and how your kid view things. And that's what I'm learning now still to this day, like how my son view things, how he communicate, how his world is, how he see things. That's all it is. It's just coming from your room and coming into their normal and their room. So how my son, how, that's how I found that my son had autism. I'll be doing like some more videos because this is new information for me. Although I kind of figured that my son was autistic, but I just want to like have a community of mommies daddies whatever on my platform with autism kids because i want to look more into it i want to do more research on it i want to share my tips and stuff on how my son progressing what he's not uh, what he's not really good in and maybe we can like all come together and help each other through this process because having a kid itself is not easy especially a kid with autism because they they learn differently so i just want to take this time out to say like you got this don't give up like god is with us with us like even if you don't believe in god whoever you believe in he's with you god is with us god really do not make no mistakes when it comes to anything like you know autism i do really want to say this like in you know, the autism community they really really help you really have the support I will really make a video about that, but just reach out. If you feel like your kid has autism, just reach out to your pediatric, his, his or her pediatric or pediatrician, whatever, and just get it set up because they can put you in a room to get your kid going. So a lot of people be like, was your kid stemming? CJ did not stem or well, I guess when he was one years old, he was like going in circles, like he had like going in circles, but that was about it. He just started stemming and showing like autism signs when he was two years old. So my son do this when he just over is stimulating, he'll do this. Or he'll test stuff and do this. I just go like this to him. Like I put pressure on his palm or I put pressure on his feet and he'll calm down or I just rub his back and let him know that it's okay. Or um, the TV too loud, or my car, cause I'm a mom that gym. I be having my radio up. So if he going like this, then I know my radio too loud. So I just turn it down. I kind of just like think, like I'm changing up how I used to do things. Going to his world and changing things to meet him halfway. This journey just started and I'm, really excited really excited to take you guys on this journey so if you feel like wow i don't like is nobody on youtube that's really talking about autism or it's not a younger person or i don't know like however you feel you can stop here because i'm going to be doing more videos adding my son to the videos my name is jenny ray Chane, and if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe because so yeah make sure you guys follow cj instagram on is one baby dot cj one baby dot cj cj don't like taking pictures but his mom loved getting him getting him dressed and yeah if you want to see the drip just go to his instagram right now and you guys can follow me if you want to i really don't care about instagram or really social media like that i'm really like on youtube so just subscribe here for me Mm. See you.